Hi, I'm Fernanda. Hi, and I'm Kay. For this week's reading response, we will be answering potential exit interview questions as a means to study for it. So these are a couple questions about glass and curtain walls. Question number one, what can we do to save costs and energy when using glass? So when talking about glass, waste is money and energy. Since glass is made into a continuous ribbon, avoiding shapes like triangles and circles saves a lot of costs and energy, especially since gas or glass is energy intensive. Uh, and when deciding to use the shapes that I just mentioned, like triangles and circles, these abstract shapes, you gotta nest them so that they make rectangles and reduce the cost of using those types of shapes, like this example here. Using standard glass sizes instead of custom glass is another form of saving cost. Next question, what are the different types of glass? So I'll mention four, which are classified by the ways in which they break. There's annealed glass, which breaks easily into long, sharp shards. There's heat strengthened glass, which is two times more resistant than annealed, though it still breaks into large shards. There's full tempered glass, which is four times stronger than annealed glass, and it shatters into smaller pieces, and it typically vacates the frame after impact. And lastly, there's laminated glass, which tends to keep the shards together if breaks, if it breaks, um, which is considered a lot safer. Now, in terms of how they look, I'll mention two. There's spandrel, which are the opaque types of glasses, and then there's vision glass, which is transparent. Next question. What are the type, what types of glasses can be solutions to solar heat gain? All right, so there's three types of glass that really are great solutions to solar heat gain. First is fritted glass. They have these pig pigmented ceramic particles applied to the surface of the glass. This is the example on the bottom here. For low emissivity glass, they have a virtually transparent ultra thin metallic coating that selectively reflects the solar radiation at different wavelengths. And then lastly, there's reflective coated glass. It really uses a durable film of metal or metal oxide and reflects a substantial portion of the incident visible light. They look like mirrors from the outside on a bright day, but like transparent glass in the dark. And then next question, what is fritted pattern glass limited to? So when it comes to the patterns, the limit are, is our imagination, but the glass itself is limited to seven feet by 13 feet and nine inches. Next question. What are the problems and thermal issues associated with glass? All right, there's a lot of problems associated with glass, but here are a couple. Glass is really heavy. It's pretty much the same weight per cubic foot of concrete, which is not very easy to carry. Second problem associated with glass is that it has a really high embodied energy and allows radiant heat gain, which is really bad for the thermal comfort of a building. And lastly, it's not a really good insulator. You have an excessive heat loss. Next question. What is a curtain wall and its different modes of assembly? So a curtain wall is an enclosure system of a building. It acts very much like skin. So it protects the building from water, vapor, air, light. Um, it essentially hangs from the floor slabs, supporting only its own weight and none of the building load. Um, so in its components are the frame, the glass or panel type, the fin, and the sealant. And there's two types when it comes to assembling them. So there's the unitized, meaning factory pre-assembled units that are shipped to the site and hoisted into place, or stick built, which are assembled in the field. Last question. What is the purpose of a mock-up of a curtain wall? The purpose of a mock-up are to really test the aesthetics and to perform a system like desired. There are two types of mock-ups. So there's a virtual or a visual, excuse me, mock-up and a performance mock-up. Visual mock-ups are really just testing the colors and aesthetic composition of the mullions or just the exterior of this building. And then for performance mock-up, it's testing its water resistance so that it can prevent leaks, which is really bad, and air pressure. 
Horizontal and vertical differential movements are also tested as well as structural loading and thermal testing. Lastly, we'll have our building example. So this is a design by Handel Architects. It's called the Alto El Golf. And you can see in the image how these different um, shapes are enclosed by this glass uh, curtain wall that actually doesn't allow you to even see the floor slabs, which is kind of a tell that it is a curtain wall. Um, thank you. Thank you.